In this video, I'll be talking about the illustrations group in the insert tab. This group includes pictures, shapes, icons, 3D models, smart art, and screenshot features. Let's dive in. The pictures and shapes feature in the illustrations group let you add images and shapes to your spreadsheet. Here, in pictures, you will get two options place in cell and place over cells. Let's try both. In both options, you can import the picture from three different sources. This device, stock images and online pictures. I'll use this device option. Here you can see that the picture is inserted into the selected cell. You can make it visible by expanding the height and width of the cell. Press the delete key to remove the picture. Now place over cell. You can resize and move the picture as you wish. Delete it similarly like before. In the shapes feature, you can find a lot of geometrical shapes, mathematical icons and many more. Let's insert a basic rectangle. You'll get a tiny plus symbol which enables you to drag and draw in your preferred size. As soon as you insert the shape, you'll get a contextual tab named Shape Format. It lets you format your last created shape. In the Insert Shapes group, you can insert other shapes if you want. You can edit the shape, can change it to other shapes or edit the points to change it. Let's undo the action. You can also insert a text box to add text and insert it in the worksheet. Double click on the shape and you can enter text inside the shape now. You can choose shape styles. Changing the shape fill color, shape outline color, outline thickness and shape effects are also possible. The same goes for the word art styles. You can change their styles too. You can add all text to the shape describing the context of it. The arrange group is very useful. First, insert another shape. You can bring a shape forward and move the other backward. With the selection pane option, you can hide and unhide any shapes. Also, bringing them forward or backward is possible here. You can align the shapes in different directions. Group them for ease of work. Ungroup them when the work is done. You can also rotate the shape in multiple orientations. Changing the height and width of the shape is simple. Just enter the height and width values. Want to communicate with symbols? Use the icons option. You will get loads of pictures, cartoons, stickers and icons here. Different categories of each type are shown here. Select the object and insert it. It's just like inserting the picture over cell. Formatting is also available here. Now let's delete them. Let's spice things up with the Smart Art feature. Smart Art turns boring text into visually appealing graphics. You will find various types of Smart Art graphics available here. This feature includes list, process, cycle, hierarchy, and many more. Let's insert one. You can edit the text here. You can also edit the text using the text pane option. Changing the layout to the same category is possible. You can choose smart art colors and styles. You can convert the smart art to shapes too. The 3D models option allows you to insert three dimensional objects into your worksheet. These objects can be rotated and customized to add a dynamic and visually engaging element to your data or presentations. The screenshot option allows you to insert a picture of any open window or a portion of your screen directly into your spreadsheet without the need for external applications. You can choose one from available active windows. Let's delete it. Similarly, you can capture a region with this screen clipping option and insert it into the sheet. Time for a quick task. Insert a shape onto your Excel sheet and tell me in the comments how you would use it to enhance your data presentation. That's it for this video. Stay tuned for the next one. Bye.